Welcome to Blue Star's Bon Appetit, the channel's only cooking show featuring award-winning chefs, delicious recipes you can make at home, handy cooking tips, and a sprinkle of vendor solutions and insights. Let's get cooking with Dean Reverman. Welcome to Blue Star's Tech Connect Studios. I am Dean Reverman, your host, and this is Bone Tech. We are blessed today to have Kim Wilbon, Chef Kim, who's going to show us how to do some breakfast tacos. Already smelling so good, Chef mm -hmm. Kim. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But before we get to this yumminess, we got to say thank you to our sponsors, Elo, Epson, Samsung, Zebra, Intel, and Newcastle. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. And oh, by the way, are you looking to get out and about a little bit? Do you want to go see the latest technologies? Go to bluestarinc.com slash events and look at look up the Tech Connect to You tour. We're going all throughout the United States. It's a great way for you to come out, visit us at one of the stops, see the latest technology. And if you're looking for even more education, check out the Tech Connect podcast. We got great subject matter experts, great topics that we talk about there, get you all educated along the way. And, and finally, hang out here until the end. We got a website that you can go to to get the recipes for Chef Kim's wonderful breakfast tacos and 20 bucks so that you can buy uh, the ingredients here for the first 100 people that uh, that register. So hey, 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 Chef Kim. Hi. How you doing? How are you? We got breakfast tacos. Let's dive in. Yes, I'm we so do. Hungry. Let's get to the eggs. It, right? Right. We start off with eggs. And if we're, we're going to have some kind of breakfast taco. Yes, we, we are. Eggs. We have a little breakfast taco bar. <laughs> okay. Even better. Even better, right? Yes. So what we're going to do, we're going to start cooking our eggs first. Put a little oil in there. You could use butter if you want, but I'm using oil today. Mm -hmm. All right, so we heat that up. You know, I like butter. Yeah, I mean, you do. You know, Ari's got the butter sitting off to the side. Yeah, you, you well, know, you have to, to have. Go. Okay, do you have toast butter? Mm, I don't even know what toast butter okay. is. Okay, you have to have toast butter. Okay. But you have to have it sitting out, and it's only for your toast. Wait, you're blowing my mind right now. Yeah, what are you doing you here? Well, well, what? We got some oh. egg going on here. We're gonna put a little sour cream in the eggs. Give them a little fluff. Really? Okay? We're gonna do a little bit of salt and some pepper. Yeah, All a little right. sour cream works really well. But yeah, getting back to your toast butter, you have to have some of that in your house. All right. Yeah. Because don't you hate like on your butter when like there's little pieces of crumb when someone yes. butters their toast? See, if you had toast butter, that wouldn't even happen. I get it. Yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. Well, you I, know. I need me some toast butter. You really do. <laughs> and when people come over, you can actually show them your toast butter. Yeah, right? Yes. And then, you know. <laughs> so this is cool. So we yeah, got eggs. How many scramble. eggs did you throw in uh, there, by the way? like six in oh, there. Oh, wow. We're making yeah. some tacos. Yeah, we're going to make some. And wait till you see the vehicle, the vessel, the that vessel. we're going to put yeah. the tacos in. Something new. And just a little bit of sour cream, right? Just a little bit of sour cream. Just a little bit. And then you're going to beat them this way. Mm -hmm. Like around, around, around to get some air in them too. Okay. okay? We want them fluffy. We want them I fluffy. I love fluffy eggs. I love a fluffy egg. Yeah. Now, in the past, I've used milk before. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Well, that's can, what the can sour we go cream milk is for. But you good with milk? Or oh, yeah. Like, you can use a little half and half. I'm breaking the rules if I yeah. do milk. Yeah. You okay. can do milk. You can do milk. You're not breaking. Well, you're not breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Although you are rule breaker, team. That's right. That's right. You are. All, All right, right. So that's pretty simple. So we're going to set that so to the far. side because we don't want any, you know, something that we're going on. Very good. So now with scrambled eggs, don't have it too high. Mm. So we're going to push them in the middle. Okay. But, you know, since we got stuff to do, we're going to go them a little bit. That. So we're going to push them in the middle. I always wondered what the technique here, what's the proper technique is kind of, this is mm -hmm. scrambled eggs, right? So. Yeah, and some people, um, you know, scramble them and move mm -hmm. them around like that, but mm -hmm. I really like to push them in the middle, okay? And then go around like that and then push it in the middle. So you're saying so. you don't want a super hot skillet, like you put no, it in there? No, you don't. You don't want a super hot skillet. So, okay. But it, this takes patience, too. Mm -hmm. Something I do not have, so. <laughs> Especially in the morning, no. when you're all hungry. No, right? I don't have patience for okay. that, but right. I'm having patience today. Well, this so. is cooking up pretty quick. Yeah, it's I going pretty quickly because I turned it up. Yeah. But normally you <laughs> turn it down. Keep it, you know, medium high. Okay. So you see how that's coming out now? Yep, yep, looking pretty good. And then you just go, around and use a spatula mm. 
So look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see the pepper in there. Yep, yep. You can add um, for you know because you're doing breakfast tacos. You can add a little chili powder. I was just about to go mm -hmm. there, right? Can, you you like, can add a little chilies, little mm -hmm, green chilies in here mm -hmm. as well if you want to. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of forgiving re recipe. You can do whatever you want. You could add your bacon and sausage in if you want, mm. but I like to leave the eggs a little plain so that way I can just build. Kind of leave them as mm -hmm. is. If you leave them yeah. as yeah. is. Yeah. Now if you cook like a spice or something like that, or like if you threw in a jalapeno, does that enhance the flavor of a jalapeno or the spice, or just because you're heating it up? Yeah, or? it does. Okay. It'll be All good. Right. It'll be, mm -hmm. You can even roast the jalapenos too. Oh, yeah. Now here, you see how yep. they're creamy right now? Mm -hmm. Turn them off. Ah. Let's turn them off. And then take them off the heat, and then just let them finish. Okay. See how fluffy and yes. gorgeous those are? No, see, I would have let them go. I yeah, would have overcooked them. Yeah, that. of course you would. Well, you don't even have toast butter, so of course you would <laughs> let that happen. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I would have killed the eggs. You would have killed the eggs. Off. I love whatever. that technique. So right. yeah, let them, because the pan's hot. The pan's it's, hot. It's going to keep cooking and so, them a little bit. You know, we're going to take them off right now and put them in into a uh, bowl. Oh, we'll put them in this. All right. I'll we'll put them in a bowl just so they won't, um, so they won't continue to cook. Because we're going to need these to build our tacos, right? Very Look nice. At that. Isn't that nice. Absolutely. Nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Nice and fluffy. I love the mm -hmm. air. It looks like it's mm -hmm. nice and fluffy. And that's the sour cream mm -hmm. doing that for you. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm digging it. So we're going we, to build these when well, we... Let's take a little break real oh, quick. Oh, yeah, let's take a little and break. And then we'll come back we'll come and we'll back start and building it up there. We're going to build a taco. I love it. I love it. All right, pay attention. We'll be right back after this quick break. Okay, we know you're hungry. We're showing you how to make food. But food leads to thirst, and so we're gonna mix it up a little bit with Intel. And we got Rob Risney here. He's gonna show us how to make a wonderful cocktail, actually making something wonderful with Intel along the way. Rob, what do you got for us today? What are we making? Dean, thanks so much for having me yes. you know, here, here on the show. You know, I, I uh, now, now of course we're in the heart of uh, bourbon country yes. uh, here in Kentucky. I, right. I live, I live down in Tennessee, and you're, you're passing the bourbon trail the whole time. So I thought I'd jump in with my take on an old fashioned. Nice. Okay. Um, Fair enough. So let's let's just jump right in. You know, this one's actually a pretty simple drink. Yeah. Um, and it's always a it's always great if you're doing anything with you know with you know barbecue. Yeah, it's a standard. Um, it really right? is a yeah. standard. Yeah. You know, and what I what I like about this one too is you can really change it a lot with the kinds of what whether it's the different types of uh, liquor you're mm -hmm, using, mm -hmm. but also the key is the nose feel. Mm. The nose inside of uh, of an old fashioned is really one of the things that makes it pop. Gotcha. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to start with a nice base of Bardstown bourbon. Nice. Um, I Good picked selection. That, yeah, picked this up at, a, at a, a distillery tour I did there. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, different people can mix these in different ways. Some people like to make these really scientific. Honestly, one of the key things about an old-fashioned is you really just can't have enough bourbon in it. <laughs> uh, so, so I see the measuring on. went out the, yeah, table, exactly. or out the window. So, yeah. You know, anytime you do this now, what you want to do is, is you want to add in things that are going to add, you know, some flavor. So let's take some classics first off. Okay. Let's take a, a freshly cut orange. Yep. You know, I like to really, really ensure that you've got a full orange in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then I take a full orange slice and I just drop it right in there. Okay. I don't mix it up. And here's the reason. What you want is you want that then to soak up that bourbon. Mm. Because then at the end of your cocktail, you grab that fruit and it's really captured all that uh -huh. flavor. Ah, yes. In fact, let's continue that a little bit. Let's add in a couple cherries. Same reason. Yeah. Drop those in. Nothing fancy. I really like just classic maraschino cherries here mm -hmm, because that mm -hmm. the cherry juice just adds a little a bit little of extra bit. Yeah, flavor. I was going to see if you were going to put a little oh, extra yeah. in there because I know some people. Some put a people extra. do, but in uh -huh. this case, we're going to go a little bit differently. So okay. obviously, we've got our classic, classic uh, aromatic bitters. Mm -hmm. A few drips of that. All right. All, all down to the taste. Again, nothing scientific in an old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get this mixed up. So now when we start off right here is your classic old fashioned. Okay. We want to turn it up a notch. That's right. Okay? That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this Dadle Bee hot pepper honey. Nice. Because there's a lot of these. I picked this one up at a, at a, a fair in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and this one you got to be careful with because it's got some fire. But we add a little bit of that. All right, just a minute. And then we mix it up a little bit. Now we're going to take that fire and that honey. It's going to really bring out the spice heat. in the in the bourbon. Uh-huh. Okay, so there you go. Very nice. Take. 
give that a try. Loving it, loving it, and I love old fashioned. Never had a spicy one. Perfect. Feel it? What a great way to start a meal, right there. Absolutely, great bourbon. Oh, Bardstown's great. What I love about the what I love about Bardstown here is when I was there, I was just amazed at how modern it's a brand new right. distillery in Kentucky, mm -hmm. um, and they, they've actually completely built it with Industry 4.0 in mind. Mm -hmm. Completely IoT enabled. Mm -hmm. They're capturing analytics off of every single stage <laughs> uh, of the distilling process. Yeah. Um, and at Intel, of course, we've been at the forefront of smart factory implementations in all sorts of industries. Mm -hmm. And what I think is really fascinating here is it's just showing how classic applications in heavy manufacturing, you know, applying analytics, sensorization, edge-based processing, and using that in new ways here at Distillery. But we're seeing applications of people taking data and processes like Lean and Six Sigma, mm -hmm. taking them into retail, mm -hmm. looking at things like, are we understanding the traffic flow? Mm -hmm. You know, do we have a good understanding of how our restaurant or our, um, our hotel is operating? Is it operating its most efficient way? Um, and it's neat how analytics is starting to watch for, you know, walk from one sector to the next. Absolutely. So I'm glad you're able to join me here for this drink and just get a taste of the way Intel is uh, yeah, making wonderful things. Making wonderful things. You got that right. Thanks so much for stopping Absolutely. by, Rafa. You know, I'm going to take the rest of it. Oh, yeah, sounds right. good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back everybody. We are here at the Bon Appetit Tech Show and we've got Chef Kim Wilbon showing us how to do a breakfast taco. We got mm -hmm. the eggs going, so we got the yeah. eggs done, the nice fluffy eggs with a little sour cream in it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk some of these other toppings. That you, oh my goodness, you got look all at, kinds of stuff I going know, here. but look at this, Dean. We have these Fajis Fiesta Flats. Flats? This is no ordinary no, taco show. No, look at this. That is They're cool. so easy to eat. Look how cute that is, right? <laughs> yeah, you, know, you don't have to tilt your head. You know when you eat a taco, you're tilting your head? Who wants to do that in the morning no. when they have a little bit of yeah, a hangover? No. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do that? No. So, Because this is weekend food, right? This is um, weekend this is food. Great this is weekend fun, food. weekend, relaxed You've had a long food. Friday. Yeah, long yeah. Friday, yeah. hard Saturday night, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what we can do is put these in the oven for a little bit. They've been in the oven, so you just cook them for like a ah, couple minutes. Just crisp get them, them up extra a crispy. Bit? Okay, got yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have some black beans that you rinse and drain. Mm -hmm. We have some green salsa, some salsa verde, which is great. Mm. And our bacon. Notice how crispy our bacon is. Yes. You know how we got it that crispy? We mm. made it in the oven. So Ooh, pro tip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pro tip here. I like it. Get a sheet pan like this uh -huh. and just lay your cold bacon. The, the cold pan, lay the bacon on it, and put it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes. Really? Oh, yeah. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. Do you need to flip it? No, no, no. no. You just oh, let no. it cook? Just let it cook. Just let it cook. I'll be darned. I know. And it comes out really crispy and huh. really amazing. And then save that bacon grease, too. Mm. And also, your sausage, you can put that in the oven as well. So okay. while that's cooking, you can have that cooking as well. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we just have some guacamole, a little bit of uh, mixed cheese, some sour cream and some jalapenos. And look at this beautiful little mini micro green cilantro. Mm, it tastes, it. you know how people, cilantro is weird, either you really love it or mm -hmm. you really hate it. Mm -hmm. But this cilantro, most people say that the reason why they don't like cilantro is because it tastes a little bit soapy. Mm. But this cilantro is a micro green, so taste it. So it's and like it's, not it's gonna little, be as overpowering? No. No, it's a little peppery. That's mild. Right, it's so mild. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so these are great. You can get these at, you know, any little specialty I'm market. I'm digging that, market. I'm digging that. So back to a couple of these ingredients. So we're adding in the, uh, the, the what, the <laughs> guacamole yes. for a little bit of smoothness. Is mm -hmm. that what you're going yeah, for there? Yeah, we're going for a little texture. Mm -hmm. So we'll lay our eggs. Our mm -hmm. eggs will be the base, and then we'll do the beans, and then we can add either sausage or your egg and your guacamole and then your cheese, and of course you gotta have some sour cream. And when we build it, it's gonna be great. It's not gonna mm -hmm. be as messy, but mm -hmm. it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Loving it, loving it. And then you got the jalapeno in there mm -hmm. for a little bit of spice. For a little bit of spice. Just normal yeah. jalapenos? Yeah, just, just or normal jalapenos. Did you make jalapenos. these? Are these Chef Kim? No, jalapenos? I do not make jalapenos. <laughs> And, uh, no. You don't have like a like a sauce or a no, blind? I no, I didn't know. I know. Sorry. Right. Fair enough. Sorry, jalapeno factory's not open. <laughs> so, no. 
Wish you could, but no, no. Uh, but you know what? You could. You can also add a little bit of the jalapeno juice to the eggs as well. Mm. If you want to get, get, make a little spicy. If you like it hot, like right? it hot. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. are we gonna build one of these? Or yeah. Let's go, you know what? Let's go ahead and start building. I think one. we should what go ahead heck? and build. Yeah. One. What the heck? So we're gonna take, um, like I said, our boat. We're gonna do. Um, some eggs. Egg first. Egg first. Now, what, what do you want in this, Dean? Do you want to do mm. bacon or do you want to do sausage? Mm, okay, yes and yes. Okay, so we'll do two. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes and yes. <laughs> I love me some bacon. Me too. I love me some sausage. Me too. So, you know, so a little bit of that. You can't go So wrong. let's add some beans. I mean, this is, this is protein packed too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be fancy. You just throw it on there. So let's throw some bacon on there. Do you want to work today, Dean, or just want to watch me? No, I'm going to be right. I'm just sitting here watching you. I'm going to pull okay. a plate. I'm going to make my own. I got you. Yeah, get your own going. I love these little taco shells. Aren't these cute? These little fiesta things. I know, they're cute, right? Fiesta flats. Flat I know. bottom taco shells. There's a song in that there somewhere, That sounds flat right? bottom taco shell. You make the rockin' world go around. Wait, oh, we just made a song. We just made a song. Boom, just song. like that. Boom. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, here in my way. And I'm gonna do the salsa verde and the salsa because I am special. Oh, see, I'm already getting hung up on these eggs. They look so fluffy and nice. Looking good. Just throw them in there, Dean. I know, I'm trying. I I'm know. trying. You're, yeah, just right. throw them in there. Any way. Look at it. I mean, just kind of Go a little it up. bit of bean. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And you're going to do some sour cream in yours? Look at how nice yours are looking, though. I know, it's Once because again. I'm not thinking about it like you are. Oh, all right. So just I just throw just, it in just there. Just throw it in there. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no exact science. No, here. there's no exact science. We're just here. throwing stuff in there. And look at, the, look at these jalapenos. Nice, right? And they do fall over sometimes, but you know, they'll, they'll get back up. So some people like, you know, ketchup with their eggs. Are you a ketchup with your eggs kind of person? Uh, mm, no. no. Okay. No. So I'm a hot anyway, sauce. I'm thinking the salsa there was looking a little bit like, you know, that. I'm a hot sauce kind of person with my Here, cream. take some of the sour oh, cream. I got you. I got you. Look how fun this is. This so is cool. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this. Let this out, put this out on the island in your mm -hmm. kitchen or on the table and just let everybody go for it. There you go. Oh wait, let's put a little cilantro on it. To just add that nice little kick at the end there. Look how neat yours is. Uh, well, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at that. Well, I don't it's know. It's so perfect. Yeah. Look at mine's like stuff's falling over. <laughs> They're that right is next the true to each other. Breakfast talk. Right? Mine's like this nice, neat little thing. All right, right I'll tell you what. That. We're gonna take a break real quick, and we're gonna come back and chow into these. Chow maybe talk into a little these. Bit about that. Yeah. Yes, we are. All right, folks. We'll be right back. Hey friends, how are we doing? Hey, while we've got a little break in the action here, I thought uh, maybe I'd come by and collect your payment. Uh, payment? Payment for what? For the show. I mean, our chefs, they don't work for free or anything, you know? And I mean, you're sitting here getting cooking tips and sampling the product. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay for this stuff. Okay, well, I don't have my wallet, just my, I have my phone. Yeah, and I, I just have my credit card. Well, hey, guess what? That's not a problem because I have the new Elo M60 Pay. So this is a, a cool little mobile computer that has a lot of flexibility for payment options. So for your phone, for instance, you could take NFC payments. Uh, for your card, it could do NFC also or use the EMV chip. Dip, tap, swipe, it's got all those payment options. No cash needed. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Sounds like a standout. Device. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. It's got the uh, you know uh, Android 10. It's rugged, six-inch touchscreen display, a whole Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. I'm not really sure what that means, but I think it means it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's a good day-to-day -day device. Good for a line busting, curbside pickup, pretty much anything you might need in day-to-day -day retail hospitality work. So it's good stuff. Nice, nice little device here. But, but seriously, you guys gotta you guys gotta pay up. So come on. Okay, well, don't expect a tip. Really, really. Newcastle's compelling productivity story makes it an easy choice for your customers. They provide the powered carts, you add new wireless zebra printers and scanners, your customer gets ROI in four to six months. Learn more about how Newcastle can help boost your printer sales and build customer loyalty at Newcastle's microsite at bluestarinc.com. 
Hey, John, uh, you here for some of the food or what's going on, man? Of course, I'm always here for the food, but I figured I'd take some time to work on some of my ads while I was at it too. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. So which one are you working on? Well, get this. I got a great line for you here. So right now, when it comes to fast, reliable point of sale receipt printers, merchants are feeling the need, the need for speed. I stole it from that old Top Gun movie. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll ignore the shot at my age. It's old, Dean. 1986. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. old. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, so what? It's, you're saying hospitality, retail, those types of folks don't like to wait around for the receipts? Well, no. I mean, especially like if you're printing out those giant, like three foot long receipts that everybody mm. hates. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got like QR codes, coupons, ads. I don't know, a coloring sheet for the kids or something like that. <laughs> No one wants to write around for that stuff. So Epson has them covered with their newest printer, the OmniLink TM-T887. All right, so, but how fast is this bad boy? 500 millimeters per second, fastest in the industry, and a high-speed auto cutter to boot. Very nice. I know Epson's more than about just speed. What else is this thing got? Well, yeah, I mean, so it's got a long print head and auto cutter life. It's mm -hmm. backed up by like a four-year limited warranty, but it's also one of those cool little printers where it can kind of be the centerpiece for an entire point of sale oh. setup. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of, you know, flexibility cloud server print as well, but it's got a built-in USB and Ethernet, but also has options for like power and USB, parallel, wireless, pretty much everything you need for a flexible setup, future-proof, online ordering too, which, you know, everybody loves that these days. Everybody's got that. You got all right. that in that script right there? I did. I think, I think this will make a good ad. So if somebody wants more information, what like, do they need to do? Well, I mean, they talk to their Blue Star Epson representative. That's right. If you want more information, contact your Blue Star representative and they can help you out. Have we been doing an ad the whole time? Yeah, this whole time. Yeah. Oh. All right. Hey, I gotta get back. See ya. Yeah. You know, John, I can't believe we're in our third year of this award-winning Tech Connect podcast. Uh, speak for yourself, Dean. Uh, we That award did not win itself. Mm. We've worked pretty hard for it, and I think the best is yet to come, though. Oh, really? You do? Uh, yes, sir. Listen, every week we bring you mm. the hottest topics, news, and deep dives into the technology that matters in this channel. That's right. Marketing and sales tips, industry trends, insights to give you a leg up over your competition. Love that. And help position your right solutions to your customers, exactly. right? Exactly. And hey, Dean, and I know a few things, mm -hmm. uh, but most episodes we like to bring in some experts from around the industry. Mm -hmm. Every episode ends with the value to the bar, which is where we give you a little takeaway that you can use right now. And there's also our favorite fun segment, What's Tech Connecting with You? Oh, wait, that's where you tell us about some technology that's going to like rule the world and we're all going to die, right? Uh, only occasionally. Oh. Most of the time, it's uh, something in the world of science, technology, ah, yes, yes, or innovation yes. that has caught our eyes, got our attention that week. Listen, you can find new episodes every week right here on YouTube, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on those. Mm -hmm. We have a playlist also that's just for the pod, too, so look for that. Mm -hmm. And hey, if you like to listen on the go, we're on Apple, Spotify, Podbean, Stitcher, Google, anywhere, everywhere, everywhere there you, go. you get podcasts. Look for the Tech Connect podcast, plug in, and get connected. Welcome back, everybody. We got Chef Kim with us. We got breakfast tacos going. Oh my gosh, all kinds of good stuff mm -hmm. that we just put in here. Let's oh, yeah. kind of review some of this stuff real quick. What do we got here again, by the way? Salsa Verde. Salsa Verde. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. green salsa, yep, yep. tomatillos, um, and black beans, mm -hmm. sour cream, crispy bacon. That we cooked in the oven. That we cooked in the oven. Got it. Sausage that we also cooked in the oven. Mm -hmm. Salsa, jalapenos that I did not make at my jalapeno factory. <laughs> and. <laughs> Mixed cheese mm. and also guacamole. Nice little guac, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Yeah, our, good stuff. our eggs, and of course our eggs and our little fiesta flats. Love those. Yeah. All right. Now, what would you serve with this? I'm going to throw you a curveball. It's it's a, it's a morning time. You just having a glass of milk with this? You having some glass orange of milk. juice? You having a mimosa? What do we? <laughs> A glass of milk. No. <laughs> what are you having with this breakfast taco? I'm gonna have a um, a bloody bowl. It's a oh. bloody mary with tequila in it, or or beer, or I orange like your juice style, margarita, right? Right? Or not a glass of milk. Okay. <laughs> Maybe your house. Maybe Irish cream. Or <laughs> yeah, something a little like Irish that. cream, a little Bailey's right. in there. Look at how okay, cute look at these that. You don't are, even right? have to tilt your head. Don't even have to. Right. Mm -hmm. Taste that. Mm. Don't you love that crunch? The crunch is there. Mm-hmm. The eggs are awesome. Yeah. 
I got a little bit of the cilantro yeah. on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Good, right? That's good stuff. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is good stuff. Look how nice and neat and that cute. Ready to go, just like Ta -da. that. Ready nice. to go. Well, where I need my what did you call it? Bowl? What? A bloody bowl. Bloody bowl. That mm -hmm. would sound like a, a good way to end this uh, type of thing. Seriously though, you could have this just about any time. Yeah, right? you really could. You, you can just, have it for dinner. It doesn't yeah, have to be a breakfast. You can do breakfast taco. for dinner. Absolutely. And then we you, do breakfast yeah. for dinner in our house. Yeah. Well, then this will be a good, mm -hmm. a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. There you go. There's how you make a breakfast taco. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Hey, thanks again to all of our sponsors. We got Elo, Epson, Samsung, Zebra, Newcastle, and Intel. Thank you so much for your help. Now's your chance chance to uh, get the, if you will, the recipes uh, and a $20 gift card that we will randomly pick. For those of you who go, just go to bluestarring.com slash cooking and put in the code TACO uh, for this round and we will send you the recipe. And again, randomly we'll select some folks that will get that $20 gift card to buy all the ingredients for this food. Chef Kim, you rock. Thank you so much. Chef Joe. There you go. Breakfast tacos. Thanks for joining us, everybody.